Returning to my Coin Lady channel, I am pleased to see you again. The main message that many individuals are expressing regarding XRP is that you should not be left behind. Watch this video carefully since it contains crucial information regarding the XRP price and the reasons why many are placing large bets on a huge move in the near future. We'll be discussing the most recent developments with RLUSD, which you simply must watch, along with an intriguing price analysis and a massive whale move. I don't understand. In this video, we will explain everything in detail. You are well informed if you have an interest in such matters and find value in XRP articles. Please descend. Commit to like this. For the sake of all the viewers and listeners, please subscribe to the channel and spread the word about this video. Alright, then, let's jump into the video. Okay, I'd like to circle back to the Grayscale Trust for a second, before we dive into the major RL, USD news. This was discussed last week. Given that the SEC supposedly has until October 7 to file an appeal, the fact that Grayscale announced an XRP trust, which has already amassed more than $710,000, is, of course, is remarkable. To reiterate, $26,000 in only one week adds even more wildness to the situation. With so many experts' chances cut to 10%, I'm going to go ahead and say the SEC will not be appealing this judgment. They would be facing a huge upheaval in momentum about XRP and the broader adoption of cryptocurrencies if they were to start this trust after losing in court to Grayscale. When it comes to the race for president, Gary Gantz could be working. Both Donald Trump and Tom Emner are extremely forthright. Regarding the appearance of that, Gary Gensler is going up against the financial house very soon, today, in fact, so keep that in mind. What exactly does this imply? In the end, people desire an asset, and there is substantial adoption, though it's a little slower than what we've saw with Bitcoin ETFs. They are interested in becoming a part of the XRP industry that is more compliant. Now, a lot of people think this will become an ETF. Thus, these individuals are gaining access. Remember, this is extremely early, and the price of $11.27 per share is just the beginning, this will only facilitate the widespread use and expansion of XRP. Sadly, this isn't for regular folks like us, it's exclusively for confirmed institutional investors. Nonetheless, it's still rather huge. This proves that institutional investors are taking an interest, which is great news for XRP holders. When you add that to the information we know of the most recent RLUSD burned in the Treasury, 64 in fact, it becomes absolutely astounding. Is it possible that this indicates RLUSD may experience deflation, particularly on the Ethereum chain? Naturally, at this point, conjecture abounds. Just like tons of other stable coins, this will be launched to a plethora of other chains. However, this is actually a major news story, wow, it wasn't even mentioned. The current stable coin market expectation is $2.8 trillion, and it could grow even larger as a result of this trend. When you factor in the international market and XRP, 2028 may be an exciting year. Because of this, many individuals are taking precautions. This is the reason why many establishments are becoming engaged. Because the rate of global adoption is the only determinant of whether XRP will really take off. Considering the potential size of the stablecoin market and the direction in which people are likely to move here, as well as the current state of affairs, this might be rather crazy. This poses a serious danger to fiat currency since it raises the question of whether or not individuals will really have to relocate in order to use stablecoins for transactions. Whether it's XRP, RUSD, USDT Bitcoin, Ethereum, or something else entirely, they'll need to establish a foothold in the cryptocurrency market. That is the truth. And as the market develops and grows, you can be sure that there will be coins that serve as the bedrock. And like a lot of other individuals, I believe XRP is definitely there. Furthermore, there have been notable withdrawals from exchanges recently. Now, before you all jump on the bandwagon and tell me this is bad news, the truth is that any time there are large withdrawals from exchanges, it's good news. 
This means that the funds are being moved away from the most convenient place to sell them, the cryptocurrency exchanges, and into non-custodial wallets or somewhere else. The opposite is true for exchange withdrawals, which are highly favorable and, in fact, just as bullish for the long term as they are for the short. When money is flowing into exchanges, it usually indicates a negative feeling. Furthermore, much progress has resulted from these contacts. By the way, if you're interested in trading on an exchange, we've included a link in the description for XC. They let you buy and sell spot cryptocurrencies and also give a great new sign-up bonus. A simple click on the link will accomplish it. You can start trading futures immediately after signing up, and there are no expenses involved. Pay attention, if futures trading is your sole area of expertise, then click that link. However, to reiterate, this is excellent news for exchanges. There is a lot of positive energy surrounding XRP, as we've seen 30 million XRP taken from Upbit once again. Keeping with the positive trend, many people, I mean, everyone has a chart for a Bitcoin breakthrough or an XRP breakout right now, regardless of what you do. This is the story for the future. Some think that XRP is about to break out of its current falling triangle or wedge and make a significant rise to prices substantially higher than $2. Oh, 2 bits, you can get to a $20 XRP, I see a lot of people saying in the comments, and I've kind of gone on and on. A market cap of $3 trillion would be achieved. Yes, I understand. Though I see your reasoning, you are in no way denying that the market as a whole will experience price changes. With XRP at $2, a $60,000 Bitcoin is highly unlikely. It seems to me that we need to reach $1 or $2 before we can even begin to consider those larger moves, even though the basic math doesn't work. We are in the short term, though, and XRP is holding its own. Our side divergence has just cooled off little, in line with the market as a whole, and we're above all of these moving averages on higher time frames, such as the daily time frame. Nevertheless, Bitcoin is bouncing about like a spring. I accidentally left it in the Bitcoin video. Please view that if you have not already. In my opinion, XRP is also acting similarly, and it will likely be at the top of the heap when October rolls around. Just a friendly reminder that the past four market cycles have all avoided a red October. It is crucial to cite. In my opinion, this one will also be much like the others. In fact, I believe XRP will continue on to this point. My breakout will coincide with Bitcoin's ascent to 72,000 and will occur after a retest at 62. By the end of November, I may see XRP retesting $1 and then heading up to around 76 to 84 cents. We will monitor it closely. I'm looking forward to it. Are you in agreement? Do you have any idea what the prices will be in October and November? In regards to XRP, I have a positive outlook. There is a lot of optimism, and I think we can all agree that XRP should make that change. The time has come for financial adoption. A large number of individuals are enrolling. A lot of folks are planning to hold on for the future. Keep me updated on your progress. The viewer's presence here is greatly appreciated. Bye for now, and please subscribe and like my channel.